there's a problem. I've got loads of these cells here, loads and loads, maybe 200, something like that. I've got loads. And um, the problem is, you need to charge them, and then to find the capacity, you've got to discharge them. And really, to be able to use them in banks, you've got to match them. Like, they've got to have near the same capacity. Um, and if they don't, you get problems. And uh, really, you want them to be uniform anyway. Anyway, so the issue is, I've got hundreds of these. Now, they could be 2 volts, 3 volts, 4 volts, I don't know. Um, and there's a lot of them. What I need to do is uh, find a quick way to charge all of them at the same time. Because I've got a charger, but it, it can charge maybe about 9 at the same time. But I've got a lot, and I don't want to do that. And also, it's fumbling around, and it, you know... It, the uh, things, that the, the wrap things, uh, the cell holders are not great, and it's just a pain. So what I want to do is charge loads of them at the same time. Now, of course, you're limited when you're doing this, because <clears throat> because you can't just charge them all 4.2 volts, because you don't know which ones are going to take which voltage and all that sort of stuff. You don't, you don't want it to overcharge, because when you're dealing with a lot of cells, you know, maybe you won't have such tight control over the voltage and whatever. So... Yeah, we need, basically, if I summarise this project, um, we need a, a way, an easy way, to constantly and consistently charge lots of cells at the same time. Um, now, with this thing, I don't expect to charge them to 4.2 volts, but I, I expect that I'd be able to charge them to 4 volts and then maybe finish them off like on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, now, potentially, it may be... Uh, it may be something that will require a high amount of amperage, I don't really know. But anyway, so this one, my idea. So I've got these things, I've got quite a lot of them. And I've got, you know, the single ones as well, I bought quite a lot of them. But what I'm thinking is this, let me just put these uh, cells in here to start with, just randomly, will do. Um, yeah, I've got lots of these things. Polarity is important, of course. So, um... Yeah, let me put them in. So, how many are left? Three left. Whoops. So, yeah, I've got these holders. And I'm thinking... Oh, excuse me. I'm thinking that I can uh, charge all of these at the same time. And the way I'm thinking I can do this is by simply... I mean, if I had a plate, for example, something like this ruler, and I was to press that down on ground, of course, and I was to apply a charge to this of 4 volts... And of course, the ground was connected, like I just mentioned. I could technically charge all ten of these at the same time because, of course, this is metal. It joins all of the anodes together. There's no reason why that wouldn't work. So, if I was to get a big sheet of metal and put it across there and put five volts to it, and a big sheet at bottom, and uh, that could be ground, then I could charge these all at the same time at four volts. Now, it's not that simple because the reason, well, the reason is, is if I was to put that across there all of the cells might not necessarily touch the metal. So that gives me another idea. So what I've done is I've bought these little things, these are little springs. So these little springs here, I could put them on. Um, let me zoom in a little bit more. I could put them on here and it works, you know, they fit. So now if I change it and we, we assume that each one has got a spring, and I do this, I'm going to get contact to all of the cells. So that's perfect, it works. So now to tie us together, um, what can I do? I mean, I've got a little uh, PCB thing like this, and I could put it like that, and, and that would work with a spring, maybe. So if I was to put the springs like that, and solder them on, and then I could force this down, it would work. Um, I've also got a top here, and I could put that down there to keep them together, and then you can see the springs here, and then I simply get that to push down on there, and I could cut that and trim it, and look at it, it's perfect. I could do that. Um, or there's another way, I've got this tabbing wire, and if I get the tabbing wire and I simply push these on like this, uh, you can see that that will also work. Kind of like that, and then solder them on, and I could have three strips, and I'd have to glue them to a board or something, and put them on that way. Um, you know, there's all sorts of different ways of doing this. So uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway, a way to charge loads of cells quickly.
Let's see if this works. There's the back. Oh, it looks quite good actually. So let's see if this works now. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Let's put some more springs in and see if the other springs go in as easily. And there we go, so it's in place. I just need a bit of tidying up, it looks like. Yep, that looks good there. And that looks good there. And they're all touching the um, the copper. And it looks like they're all in place. So, um, let's put this over it and see what it does. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I think now it's time to glue it in place. So, I'll get some glue and pour some on and see what happens. This glue is like an industrial glue. It's very, it's very strong, but I don't know if it's appropriate for this. But we'll see. It smells awful. Anyway, so that should set and uh, it should be very good. So I'll leave this to dry now and we'll see what happens when I come back. And I've tested them and each one of the terminals works. I did have to uh, clean them up slightly with uh, with one of these. You know, to take all the, uh, there's like a tarnish or like an oxidization on the, on the contact. But I've, uh, yeah, I've soldered them in, uh, but they don't, you know, it doesn't solder perfectly, but it does, it does help. So I've soldered it in, and now if I just apply some voltage, that's actually ground, I know it's a red wire, but it's actually ground. And I've got this other red wire on the positive, and maybe you'll be able to hear the noise when I touch it together. So ready? Yeah, two amps, two amps, two amps, two amps. So... There's a little bit of resistance still somewhere in some of them. Uh, they just need touching up. It'll be to do with either the contact to the uh, to the copper, or it'll be that this is dirty here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll well I can't really enhance the contact to the PCB any more than it already is. So I could try, but I don't know if it would work. Um, but I, what I can certainly do is clean up the contact a little bit more. So that's probably what I'll do next.
There we go, so the contact's cleaned off a lot better now. So, um, stage one complete. There's the back. And there's the front. And it's pretty solid and it's quite clean. So, um, let's just test this out. Um, it'll be something like that. And it appears that it's going to work. So, I'm going to try this out in bulk now. Or attempt to, anyway. So let's put some of these cells in here. I'll try an egg. Got one more cell. Hang on, Layla. Right, there's one more cell. There it is. Hang on. Okay, come on. Then. Okay, so let's see if it works. They might need pressing down slightly, but we'll see. That one's not letting any amperage go through for some reason. Oh, now it is. Next one? Yep. Yeah. No. That'll probably need pressing down or looking at or something. That's going something. There uh, you go. No, that's not going to work. Yeah. They're all working but to different levels. Yeah, uh, so far so good. When I've got this, maybe I'll have to glue it in place or something, but when it's glued in place, I'm sure it'll be fine.